Hey, I'm originally from Scunthorpe, but living and working in Grinsby now. I'm a proud owner of my Through My, Through my Eyes photography. And I'm also recently a director for East Marsh United for the creative panel. I am also a community organiser for Common Good Foundation, funded by Lord Morris Glasman, where, where we're developing a new civic organisation to empower citizens across Grinsby, Cleethorpes and Immigham, which is the North East Lincolnshire area. I met Josie at East Marsh United during the pan pandemic from joining the writing group, which is my creative health community. I'd like to share these words with you, with you a poem I wrote to express how I feel about my work on myself and my community. <clears throat> I'm a victim of the system, born a mother, another victim. Fact, my mum and me, both victims of the system. Mother's bite, vicious life, me signposted in the wrong direction, paths collapse, chaotic spiraled, my risky behavior. Me, bright, opinionated, frustrated. They passed me from pillar to post. I destroyed. Grinsby found me again. Genuine care, family, therapy, safety. Taught me the visual tools to map myself, to map my life. My community showed me the right direction. Gave me back my voice. Listened to me, gave me back my life. I am delighted to be here tonight to share my lived experience to say how important creativity is, has been for me in my journey back to a better mental health and well-being. I am now also a part of our community choir and our pantomime team. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. <laughs> so my I couldn't help that. So my creativity is growing in new directions. Creativity has been my medicine, my safety, my recovery. More powerful than any drug, any, any drug or any interventions ever been. Before I introduce you to Josie, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank East Marsh United, especially Josie, for believing in me and giving me a sense of belonging. When I moved to Grinsby after dealing with the death of my mum and many other challenges, it was fate meeting the amazing group. All my life, I have been told I am no, I am no good, and I, and I believed it. We're suffering with mental health and dyslexia. And I am now a proud own author of my poems. Thank you, Josie, for everything you do. We are truly grateful. And now I will introduce you to the amazing, lovely Josie Moon from East Marsh United, Grinsby. <laughs> very much Kelly that was a beautiful introduction and I also am absolutely delighted to be here this evening to speak to you all. So I'm Josie Moon from the East Marsh of Grimsby and the East Marsh is a multiply deprived ward. It was built in the 1860s to house the workforce that served the docks and the fishing industry. The community was strong and proud until it experienced the hollowing out that happens when an industry ends and nothing comes to replace it. Since fishing ended, the East Marsh has suffered in so many ways. The sell-off of social housing and the so-called boom of the 90s saw many landlords buying up cheap property as investment. However, many found themselves unable to reap a return. And the result is neglected, abandoned and boarded up houses. Residents in poor quality rented homes often find themselves with absentee or rogue landlords. Repairs and maintenance are just not carried out. The houses are over 150 years old, built on a drained marsh. Damp is prolific, narrow alleys, fly tipping, wheelie bins on the streets, no front gardens, mean that our community is dirty, unhealthy, and can feel unsafe and unwelcoming. Add to this austerity, low achievement in education, limited opportunities for work, and what you have is a community facing the condition of poverty where lack of resources make life endlessly hard. East Marsh United, EMU, was born out of crisis in 2017 when county line drug gangs took over our streets and used violence and intimidation to force people out of their homes and coerce them into becoming drug couriers. It was chaos. 
concerned citizens came together and realized that if change was going to happen, they were going to have to lead it and make the change they wanted to see. And that's exactly what they did. So fast forward to 2023, and EMU has grown in a multitude of ways. We're an ethical social landlord, currently with 10 homes refurbished to a high standard and further houses undergoing refurbishment to let next year. Our tenants are treated with respect and empathy and are offered support beyond the bricks and mortar in which they live. Our aim is to have 100 houses for 100 years, a vision to create a more settled and cohesive community for the long term and, importantly, a sustainable ethical revenue stream for the organisation to become fully autonomous. We are greening our concrete streets. We planted 30 trees in our park this year and have a further 60 trees to plant next winter in our streets, lifting our ward canopy cover, which stands presently at just 7%. We have a piece of land undergoing development and it's going to become our community growing space. So what about our creative practice then? Well, it's not an add-on or a luxury. It's integrated into everything that we do, into the joyful and imaginative vision we have for transforming our East Marsh into a more settled, safe and healthy community. Our Peace Choir sings together every week, currently rehearsing for our winter concert. Our writing group meets weekly, and we are producing a version of Dick Whittington. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> our, our first production from our emerging intergenerational theatre company. We've just opened a toy library for our little citizens, and we've got Opera North coming to join us in the spring to work with our seven local schools. We're thinking generationally, honouring those behind us, our East Marsh ancestors while being present for our community today and planting seeds for years ahead. In our turn, we will become good ancestors. Robert Tressel wrote in The Ragged Trousered Philanthropist in the early 20th century, every man who is not helping to bring about a better state of affairs for the future is helping to per perpetuate the present misery and is therefore the enemy of his own children. There is no such thing as being neutral. So we work with partners and allies in common cause to make life better, fairer and kinder. Our partners range from the hyper-local to the national, and we constantly reach out to make connections with those who share our values and our vision. EMU is a national pathfinder organisation supported by the Joseph Roundtree Foundation, working with other innovators across our country to challenge the status quo, <coughs> to think and behave radically, and to fight for a fairer future for all. Creativity is central to this. Creative, engaged citizens are healthier, happier, and experience an overall better quality of life than those who are isolated and trapped by the grinding fear that poverty brings. We live in a time where the world feels overwhelming, where the dark is creeping in at every edge. If this is to change, we must imagine a better world and work to bring it about. That means being brave, taking risks, and challenging the status quo because it just will not do. We can all be good ancestors. We can all fight the dark and seek the light. And it sounds idealistic because it is, but where would we be without our ideals? I'll finish with a verse from Alfred Lord Tennyson's Ring Out Wild Bells because it seems apt for the season and for our current context. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the love of truth and right. Ring in the common love of good. Thank you so much.